What's up guys, today we'll be taking a look at the new Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G and I will be teaching you a few ways of installing apps on your brand new Huawei device. Let's take a look. First of all, let's take a look at the design of the phone. The horizon display goes all the way over to the side of the phone. So inside of this phone, we'll find the 7 nanometer Kirin 995G chipset, which increases the performance and lowers down on the power consumption. And you'll get the ultra fast download speed, 2.3 Gbps for download and 1.25 Gbps for upload. So first of all, we have a 40 megapixel cine camera, which has the ultra wide angle lens. And then we have a 40 megapixel super sensing camera, which is really good for low light shots. Next, we have the 8 megapixel telephoto camera, which has three times zoom and five times hybrid zoom. The fourth one is a 3D depth sensing camera. A very exciting feature for me is 4K 60 frames per second, which means you can still film 4K quality, but you can slow your clips down half speed. And this phone can actually jump up to 256 times slow motion, which will actually give you 7,680 frames per second. And that number is just insane. The Mate 3 Pro has amazing hardware, but you might be wondering if your apps will work on it. The answer is yes. There are three most popular methods for getting apps. It's using the phone clone app, Huawei App Gallery, as well as the Huawei browser. But there are also plenty of other third party options available. So let me now show you how to install apps on your new Huawei device. The first way is to use a phone clone app. What you wanna do is install phone clone on your old phone and open them up on both phones. So the first thing you'll do on the new phone, you'll select that this one is the new one and select an old phone type. So if you have a Huawei phone or an Android phone, you'll definitely be able to copy some apps. So in this case, we're gonna select Huawei. So on the old phone, we select that this is the old phone and now we're gonna just scan the QR code. And basically these two phones are now pairing. And by connecting these two phones via Wi-Fi hotspot, you'll now be able to copy the different apps and also your files. If you click on apps and data, you'll be able to select which apps you actually wanna copy to your new device. So as soon as you click transfer, all the files and all the apps will start transferring to your new phone. Once that's done, you just click finish and all the new apps will just show up on your main screen. One thing about the phone clone app is that not all apps copied through the phone clone will be supported. So apps such as YouTube and Uber will not work, but you can use the web version. But apps like Facebook, Instagram, Air New Zealand, New Zealand local banks, all those apps work just fine. So the next option will be to use the Huawei app gallery. Apps like WeChat, TikTok, Booking, it's all available there. Now these guys are constantly building the library of apps available on the Huawei app gallery. So your third option of downloading apps is using a third party app store. Um, you can perhaps use this one or that one, but um, please do that at your own risk. And for all the apps that can be found on the Huawei app gallery or phone cloned, you can use the web browser and you can also create shortcuts for the websites such as YouTube. Click on the three little dots in the top right corner, add to home screen, press okay. And now if you go to our home screen, here we have our YouTube shortcut. So when we click on it, it will go straight to that website. I hope you guys learned a few things on how to install apps on your brand new Mate 30 Pro. Stay tuned for more content, I'll see you guys next time, bye.